Hi, welcome to the 43rd News Bulletin of DWIT News. I am Akanksha Upadhyay. The headlines this bulletin are Her Excellency Ms. Alina Teplitz inaugurated Diawaxi Falls School. DWIT College bid farewell to class of 2016. DWIT annual picnic held. Nepal lost to Kenya by 5 wickets. Now let's hear the news in detail. Her Excellency Ms. Alina Teplitz, the U.S. Ambassador to Nepal, inaugurated Diawak Sifal School in a special ceremony held last Friday at Diawak premises. Ms. Teplitz, speaking to the audience, highlighted about the mutual relationship between the United States and Nepal and also emphasized on the women representation in the economic development of a country. Diawak Sifal School, a K-12 school in Sifal, is recently acquired by Diawak Education Group. DWIT College bid farewell to class of 2016 in Diyarutsav. In the graduation ceremony, Mr. Rudra Raj Pandey, the chairperson of Diawak Education Group, presented graduation certificate to the second outgoing batch at DWIT. Mr. Hari Kumar Regmi, father of Asim Regmi, one of the graduating students, was the keynote speaker for the event. The students of DWIT bid farewell to their seniors in Diyarutsav with dance, musical and drama performances. DWIT Picnic Organizing Committee, consisting of the club residents for the year 2016-17, organized DWIT's annual picnic. The picnic was hosted in Kakani Mountain View Resort and was attended by the students of all the batches. The participants had a good time in the picnic, playing fun games, dancing and sightseeing. Everyone appreciated the venue and the effort made by the organizing committee. Documentary, Movie and Dramatics Club conducted two movie screening sessions in the last three weeks. The club showed Nepali films and also invited the directors of each movie for an interaction session with the audience. The first screening featured the movie directed by Mr. Milan Lohani and the second by Nawaz Shrestha. Both of the screenings got positive response. In the rain-interrupted ICC World Cricket League held on 11th of March, Nepal lost to Kenya by five wickets. Nepal managed a score of 112 for 8 when the first rain interrupted the match. Kenya achieved the target in the 25th over when Rakeb Patel smashed Sompal Kami for a 6. And with this, we've come to the end of this news bulletin. To stay updated with whatever happening in and around Diawak, please stay tuned through our official website. Thanks for watching.